Have you ever wondered if you can have more fun in life or find the thing that is the most fun for you to do? Most fun for you to do with other people? That's what we'll talk about today. There's no fear when you're having fun. Will Thomas. Today, we're going to talk about the book called The Power of Fun, How to Feel Alive Again by Katherine Price. Catherine Price has a really good focus on how you can get more of the things that are fun in your life and how to identify those things so that you can concentrate on them more. She's written some other books that talk about how to break up with your phone. She wants you to really focus on the things that are giving you value in your life. And this book on fun is looking at how to replace mundane things things that aren't very much fun with things that are actually fun. She asked us a question was, when was the last time you had fun? Think about it. Where you were laughing so hard, you were crying, when time just got away from you and you were really just enjoying those moments. And those are the moments that stick with us. Those are the times that we remember in five years and 10 years when we laughed and we smiled and we couldn't breathe and enjoying ourselves. And she says, when we do that, it is freeing to us that we will feel better and more alive than ever. She talks a lot initially about technology. And again, she wrote the book on how to get rid of your phone. And she says that it's not that technology is a bad thing. It's not evil. It's not trying to destroy our lives, but it is preventing us by basically anesthetizing us (laughs) By distracting us so much that we lose track of time and we lose track of any ability to do things that really make us have fun. She calls it a WMD, not a weapon of mass destruction, but a weapon of mass distraction. It is keeping us from the things we're supposed to do and pulling us off track. She says it's a real danger point for all of us because we use fun in a very mundane way watch a show and you say, well, that was fun. Or you played a video game and maybe you got 20 minutes out of your four hours of playing the game and you say, oh, well, I had some fun. Fun is serious business. It's what makes life worth living and makes us feel alive and it gives us energy and it makes us want to do more of it. But when we use fun in such a mundane way, it really is putting fun in a very tiny little pocket. Oh, that was fun. If you say it like that, it's not really fun. And she realized that when we do have fun, it frees us from all the things where we think about, should I do this or should I say that? And we're just lost in the moment. The just absolute joy of doing something that is true fun for us. We're not anxious. We're not stressed. We're not thinking about what we look at. When you laugh so hard that you're crying, you're not thinking about, why I'm just running my mascara all over the place. You're not. You're just having fun. And that is so good for us. It removes all the doubt we have. It removes all the things that hold us back. And she said that Sometimes we get a fake idea about what is true fun. She says that sometimes we think we have to be with good friends. You can have true funs with complete strangers. Sometimes you think that you have to have true fun when you're doing your very favorite activity. Sometimes you're having true fun when you're playing cards with a group of people. I thought about the last time I had true fun and I laughed so hard I was crying and I can't even tell you what it was about. There's pictures of it, though, and we were laughing so hard about something that it just was amazing. And it wasn't a big experience. It wasn't going to Disneyland. It wasn't going on an amazing trip or wasn't eating your favorite meal. It was a mundane card game. And she said that people tell her all the time, I'm not a fun person. And sometimes I have to tell you the truth. I feel like I'm not a fun person. I can be funny at times. But sometimes I worry that I'm not really fun to be with because I don't drink. I don't really like a lot of ways where many people find fun. I have my own definitions of what I find fun. But 
when people used to go out to a bar or people used to go out dancing, I never really find that very much fun at all. And so then it makes me feel like I'm not a very fun person. So when she thinks that that's just silly for a person to say they're not fun, they're fun, but they have to figure out what is fun to them and what is fun to the people around them. She says it's not about material possessions either. Things can't make us have these true fun moments. They can certainly put us in a different position to have a true fun moment, but it's not necessary. True fun can happen with things or without things. She said that sometimes people even think that they don't even have time or places in their schedule where they can have fun. And she thinks that this is actually true, that we have to create places in our schedule where we can have fun, that we have to have those opportunities to allow us to have fun. And once we've identified those things that make us have fun, we'll be able to figure out how much time it needs and how to set up those situations so it works for us. She thinks it's good for our emotional and our health well-being. It makes us better parents, better coworkers, better friends. It's all the things that we need to do. She even thinks that it helps reduce stress, improve our heart, and basically reduce the chances of strokes, diabetes, other things that are bad for us because it's a complete release and it takes us out of the negative situations that are kind of wrecking our bodies. She says that fun is unbridled enthusiasm. And she puts it in to kind of this three category area. It's where playfulness meets connection with other people and flow. People talk about that flow state, right? Where time just seems to escape. You're so involved in what's going on that you just lose track of all time and space. It's outside of your being. And when you get those three things together, that's when true fun happens. And she says playfulness is when you're just being silly and having fun and getting away from your everyday responsibilities. You're laughing, you know, smiling. You're doing all the things that makes you play. You know, it's interesting because I think we see kids play and we wonder, how can I feel that joy again? You know, when you take a kid to a brand new park and they just love it and they're running around and enjoying it. And you're kind of like, oh, yeah, this park's a lot like the last park we were at. Then you look at the kid and you realize that they have this amazing ability to just play and enjoy and laugh. And somehow we have to get back to that playfulness. She said that true fun connection means involving someone else and having a shared experience with somebody else. She said that fun is easier to evaluate than happiness. You know, if you ask someone, are you happy? That's hard to say. You know, happiness is complicated. I can't believe people write books about happiness because it is made up of a lot of things. But fun is fun. And so it's easier for us to identify when we're having fun. And she said that she worries that as distracted as we all are, that's what's really causing us to lose our sense of fun because we're all so busy. We're also involved in all the things that are important in our lives, but we're also distracting ourselves with things that are not important. And those might be things like social media. It might be silly games that we play here and there. And it's just distracting us. And when we're not present in the moment, we're not involved with the people we're supposed to be involved with, then we can't really have fun either. She says that having fun is an active thing. Fun isn't something that just rolls up on us. It's something that we're doing that causes us to act. We're engaged in the moment. We're engaged with other people. We're actually doing something instead of just sitting there. And that's where fun really comes together. If you're watching TV or playing a video game, sometimes that fun can't find us because it's just a distraction to us. And in some ways, we're self-medicating with all the busyness and all the scheduling and all the other things in our lives that we can never get to that real moment of action where we can have fun and be with other people. She said that we should really find what our fun magnets are. And we'll talk a little bit about this later, but those are the things that attract fun to us. 
And those are the things that are going to help us find what she calls that true fun because they're important to us for fun. She says that many of the things that we think are fun are actually like junk food. It's always fun to eat junk food, but you know that you're not getting real nutrition from it. It's not providing you with anything good. And that's what a lot of the things we call, quote, fun is doing for us. It's really distracting us. It's junk food. And it really isn't that much fun. It's just not work. And true fun is not just not work. It's an actual thing. I think I realized at some point that while I like some TV shows, and there's some shows I really look forward to, for the most part, when I watch TV, I'm not actually having fun. I'm not really enjoying myself as much as I thought I used to. And it's not because TV's bad. TV's gotten better. But I think I'm finally identifying that TV, for me, has been a big distraction. And the more I can get away from it and do the things I really do find fun, like recording podcasts. I love writing podcasts, recording them, editing. I actually like the whole process. It's fun for me. And I find myself quite drastically leaving the TV off and working on podcasts more and more. I'm finding something that's truly fun for me. She says, quote, we can't control when we die, but we can control whether we actually live. She says in summary that our lives are made up of the things we pay attention to. If we are paying attention to negative things, if we're paying attention to negative people, or we're doing things and paying attention to things that aren't very much fun, maybe like for me, TV, then our lives aren't fun because we're not really enjoying them. And she doesn't even like how we talk about it. She says that we pay attention. We spend time and we even pass time and kill time. I mean, they're even worse, you know? We don't look at our time and our attention very positively at all. All of our terms that we use for it are all pretty negative. Not only that, we fill it with leisure that's not that much fun, rote jobs, tasks, we're tired, we sit at the computer, we gloss through social media, and we're not really enjoying what we have. She says that even stuff like novelty, where something's brand new, we think of it's pretty exciting because it's new to us, a new show, a new book, that can be fake fun. If the new book isn't very good or isn't very enthralling to us, we could get wrapped up in reading a brand new book that everybody's reading and everyone's really excited about. Maybe we should just skip it. Eventually, that newness fades, the new car smell fades, the new house fades, and we're back to living our lives. So newness can feel exciting and feel like real fun, but it may also be not fun. And sometimes she said that things that offer a reward can feel like they're fun, maybe like gambling or playing a video game but it's just triggering our dopamine into making us feel like we're having fun. And we talked about that in the dopamine issue of this podcast. Sometimes we think fun is about being unpredictable, something zany and unexpected, and that can be a lot of fun, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee something is fun. And she says in the end, it's just not good for us, that it's not good for us to not laugh, to not really enjoy things, to watch TV shows or read books or play video games that aren't enthralling or enjoying. It's not good for us to sit all the time and not be active. Or it's not great for us to feel like we have a lack of purpose. And sometimes if we watch so many video games or see TV too often or just read books that are not that great, we end up feeling like we don't have purpose in life in general. And so it's really damaging to us and it's really damaging to the amount of fun that we have in life. And she gives a quote from Stuart Brown at the National Institute for Play. He said, the times that we feel most alive, those that make up our best memories, are moments of play. We're really bad at playing as adults because, again, we think of that as a kid's thing. We think of it as something that we did years ago. We have to get that back. Follows that up with, when we stop playing, we start dying. Wow, that's pretty severe, but true that if our life becomes drudgery or it becomes this fake fun where it's just something we think is kind of fun, then 
things stop going our way and we start losing the quality we want to have in our lives. And he gave a quote from an elderly resident that they interviewed where she said, spending time together and having fun is the only thing that matters. So today we talked about finding what is true fun and how do you know when you're having it? Next week, we'll talk about what you can do to get more true fun and help your friends get more true fun with you. So my challenge to you is to think about the last five times you had true fun. Write them down and write down a few key details about what you did, where you were at, what you were thinking about, who you were with when you had those true fun events. And our next challenge next week will help us use those items so that we can have more fun more often. And now our fun entertainment advice of the week comes from Big Bang Theory. (laughs) Never seen him this happy before. That's because you've never seen him on Restock the Medicine Cabinet Day. (gasps) Look, a new topical antihistamine with lidocaine. Wow. I can't wait till I get a rash. Oh, Gas-X has a new ultra strength. Yes, they really do read their mail. <laughs> and this is the point. Find what's fun for you. If looking at the new pharmaceutical items in your local drugstore is what's fun for you, then go with it and have more fun. And even Leonard got into it at the very end, too. See, they were having fun together. I hope this was fun for you. We have a great week. And if you can remember to subscribe and leave a review. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for being out there.